Michelle, huh? And it is open. We're gonna have an absolutely amazing day. I wanna add an axolotl to the reptarium. But before we get on to axolotls, of course I'm gonna do something with reptiles here. This is beautiful, dude. How old is this one? About a year and a half. About a year and a half old. I tell you, it's absolutely gorgeous panther chameleon. So there are some reptiles here at the show. It makes me feel a little bit more comfortable. I'm definitely looking forward to getting over to this guy's booth because he has some cool stuff, too. A lot to see. This is cool. I actually found my axolotl. Well, it's actually not my axolotl. It's really cool. I love this. Gill dogs. Take a look at these things. These things are so cool. Axolotls have become so popular. We have to add them to the reptarium. Put it on your head. Come on, Brian. You're being predated. <laughs> It's really cool. There's actually some Oregon red spotted garter snakes. Now, do you breed these guys? I did. I produced these. They were born in June. Oh my gosh. And how old are your adults? My adults, they're um, three to four years old. Do they have a lot of red spots? Really beautiful? They're very red, yeah. I like to keep the ones that are the most vibrant. They even, some of them have like the blue tint to their stripes. That's awesome. What do they eat? Saw tilapia, pinky mice. They'll even eat some fuzzy mice. That's awesome. You know, I like to ask a lot of questions. While I'm here at Aquashilla, I have a lot to learn about fish. What do you say we get started? Fish fact number one, where are betta fish from? The majority of your betta fish come from Vietnam, Indonesia, and Thailand. Stagnant water like rice paddies, shallow, um, dark water areas. And now you know. I'm here with Heath. He's actually the son-in-law of the promoter of the show, and he's going to show us the five coolest things here at the show. You ready? Yep. Let's go. I got to hold a snake, which I think is really cool. I've never held a snake this big because my snake at home, it's only about two feet. It's pretty cool. He got to hold a big snake at the show for the first time. It's a fish show, and the first thing he chooses is a snake, which I like. Hey. Oh, good to this place is really cool about scaping, right? And that's where I think the reptile hobby is going to end up going at some point. Look at how beautiful this is. This is like a dark water scaping here, which basically will turn this water more like brown in time. And then they have all kinds of stuff. And these guys are actually professional aquascapers. And eventually there's going to be professional reptile scapers. There already are. Hanner, obviously, Will Nays, a bunch of people like that. As a matter of fact, at Animal Con, we're going to have a panel about scaping. I think that where the fish hobby is now is hopefully where the reptile hobby will go in the future. So look at how amazing these things are. I swear to God, most mornings when I wake up, my hair looks like that. Good, good. Now, I'm sure you remember when we got a bowl just like this from Zen Aquatic. It's just a cool place, man. It's like, look at all the innovation. I love the fact when you get into kind of something that's not the same as everyone else. So much of it here, it's so awesome. Again, this is an idea thing. Coming here, I'm trying to infiltrate the fish world, I'm trying to figure this thing out because I hope it'll be a big part of my future. Yeah, I wanted to meet you out of everybody. Oh my God, well, thank you so much. <laughs> yeah. Hey, look at where you. Oh, I love that shirt. That's great. Thank you. It's awesome. He follows you. Hello, Ryan. <laughs> What? Good to meet you. Thank you so much. We're at our friends over at Custom Cages. Of course, my buddy Will Nace is here, so there's a bunch of really cool reptiles, including this blue tongue skink. Now, obviously, we're looking for axolotls, but in actuality, blue tongue skinks are kind of like the axolotl of the reptile world. One of my favorite fish of all times would be the angelfish. Where are angelfish from? South America. South America. I didn't know. Second thing that he liked is this snake, which I was admiring earlier as well. This is actually a speckled racer. Have you ever held one of these? No. Isn't it cool? I'll be honest with you. I've never held one either. This is really an amazing snake. I mean, look at the head pattern on that. So far, you've been doing good on the snake front. Is there any fish that you really like here? No, not really. Only reptiles. Okay, so it's reptiles. I've been obsessed with jellyfish forever. I imagine this amazing giant cylinder and aquarium because they've got to be in a roundish aquarium. Water has to continue to be flowing through and have a cool thing where you can like switch the color because every time the color switches, the jelly looks like a different thing. You can see this happening here. It's actually automatic. So it's pretty cool to have one like this. I need this maybe for my desk in my office. The creativity is absolutely incredible. I mean, look at this. I'm not exactly sure what you would put in here, but it just looks absolutely incredible. I want to start incorporating not only like these types of skates, but also I love the kind of mist effect that goes on. It looks so cool. It brings it to life. What's next? Frogs and like, I think they're poisonous, but they don't want them. Poison frogs, I'm in. Okay, here we go. Which ones are the ones you like the best? Um, I like that one. So the very, uh, oh, this one right lighting. here? Yeah, oh, that is a great frog. So he loves this frog right here, and I absolutely do too. <laughs> but I'll tell you what, look at this one right here. This is actually a giant waxy monkey frog that is just absolutely incredible. What do you think about those, dude? Are those, those are sick. Aren't they? I mean, they're just ridiculous. I got to give you some of those for sure. I have no idea what kind of fish these are. What are these? Painted glass fish eggs. It makes total sense. If I've never kept fish before, what is the best starter fish for me to start? 
start with? You can do betas, tetras, guppies, all pretty good options. And I'm a beginner, let's go. This aquarium is one of the weirdest aquariums I've never seen before. These are actually Dasani fish. I don't know where the Dasani fish are from, but uh, I, I think they're pretty interesting looking. Like, yeah, right the beginning of We're at Morgan Axolotls, it's pretty cool. I was looking for axolotls here and I didn't know if I'd find any and there's a handful of them here. It's just, uh, it's awesome. These are actually leucistics, there's albinos, the normals. I mean, there's all kinds of variety. I'm learning a lot about axolotls today. I am in axolotl overload here. They are so cute. The thing that's interesting about axolotls that most people don't know is that they're actually extinct from the wild. They actually originally were from Mexico and basically it's almost like think about a salamander that's caught in metamorphosis. And like I said, they actually are no longer in the wild, but yet people are breeding them like crazy in captivity. And of course, Minecraft made them super popular. Now everyone wants to see axolotls and I love them and I've always loved them. So I want to definitely put them in the reptarium. What do axolotls eat? Earthworms! Just earthworms? And bloodworms, and blackworms, all the worms. I guess it's worms. All right, I need two more booths to go. Fourth one is gonna be the this one right over here. I think it has some pretty cool ones. I saw one that was really white, and I loved it. I know exactly what snake he's talking about. Let's go see it. It is actually a palmetto corn. You guys know that we just hatched out some palmetto corns just the other day. They are absolutely incredible little corn snakes. Recessive mutation. Yeah, this guy's got good taste, I tell you what. And more axolotls. That's a lot of axolotls. Sorry, good to meet you. How you guys doing? You guys having fun? Now we're getting into the coral section or the coral frag section of the show. And it's really amazing because it's always darker. It's always kind of little. Coral frags are a little bit almost like the leopard gecko of the fish world in the sense that you know, people collect them. They're very highly collectible. There's a million different types of coral frag and they're just really cool. There's no doubt I would love to have something like this. It's really cool, but I don't know anything about them. I've got a lot to learn. And I finally found my axolotl. Well, actually this is a absolutely adorable plushie of an axolotl. Back to Fish Gallery's exhibit and they have about 50 axolotls in this aquarium right here, which is pretty cool. We definitely are going to get some axolotls. It's going to be amazing. And again, it's just kind of a different animal, right? When you think about a reptile or amphibian, they're a little different. They need to be kept a little bit cool. A lot of people actually use chillers on their tanks. If not, you have to have like a fan. Maybe sometimes you have to have like an ice bottle floating around to keep the temperatures down because if they get much above like 70, 72 degrees, they don't actually do well. But axolotls are amazing. And guess what? I finally found my axolotl that I'm taking home. Which one do you want? The white. The white one? All right, let's buy you a white one. Do 20 for you, sir. Really? Yeah. Thanks, brother. Thank you. Have a nice day, guys. Enjoy it, man. All right. Take care of it. Thanks, guys. <laughs> You're gonna feed it once a week, <laughs> I think. Something like that. How are you? Thank you so much. What's your name? I think I have no choice but to get a fly river plushie for me, not for anyone else. Well, maybe. Yeah, for me. Last one. The last one is going to be my mom's booth. It's the Frisk's Aquatics booth. Oh, how nice is that? I mean, he's, he's a nice guy too. This is it. Let's go check it out. And we're at the Fritz Aquatic booth. Of course, it's your mom's booth, which I think is absolutely amazing. Fritz Aquatics has been around for a long time since I was a kid working at a pet shop. I use Fritz Aquatic stuff, so they're really cool. And uh, and there's your mom, so. Oh, thank you. I do know a little bit about fish. There's a fish called a goldfish right behind me right here. They used to actually inject a dye into them to make them glow, but now they what they call GM genetically modified organisms where they basically take jellyfish DNA and they insert it into a fish and then from there on out when they breathe the fish actually glow absolutely amazing I'm here with my buddy Greg the pond guy what is a group of koi called troubling troubling I didn't know that <laughs> so much I appreciate you <laughs> Well, this tank looks a little bit familiar. This is in our VIB room, and it's pretty cool because, again, they got some clownfish. They got some other bluefish. I don't know what they are, but there are a lot of little anemones. This is eventually how I want that tank to look when I'm done, so I definitely have to do a little bit of research about how I can make it look like that because, again, it's a cool tank, but this is the exact same tank that we have. Uh, I got one of them that glow in the dark. You know, it kind of reminds me when I go to a fish show like this and I'm seeing these really cool koi and all the fish in here. It reminds me how I felt when I first started to get into reptiles, that excitement level. You know, I've always been into fish, but when I'm around around him now, now I think I, it might be part of my future. And I come here and I see just all kinds of, it's the same exact obsession that I had with reptiles my whole life. Now it's kind of going into fish too. That doesn't mean I'm not gonna be a reptile person. I'm always gonna be a reptile person. But they come here and I just get so excited looking at all these cool fish. I mean, look at how cool these things are. 
You know, I can't believe it's taken me this long to get into fish, but you know what they say, better late than never. I found out so much about axolotls and fish today. Speaking of out, hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, there's a playlist that you can watch all kinds of videos. You can also hit that subscription button. It would mean a lot to me. Also, hit that like button while you're down there. Have a wonderful day, Reptile Army. Remember, they got blue tongues. They got blue tongues, wow. <laughs> I've never held one of these before.